Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad. Today's lesson for Grade 5, Chapter 3, Lesson 7, Hands-on Distributive Property and Partial Quotients. Page number is 195. Guys, the first thing uh, about the distributive property, see this guys here, like we are dividing 369, divide by 3. So in distributive property, actually what we do, we break the number into parts, like 369 into 300 plus 60 plus 9. Then we'll divide each of this uh, part with 3. And then at the end, we'll add our answer. This is how we draw the bar diagrams, uh, because 369, so we give the greater part to the 300 and then 60 and then 9. And here we write the number with which we divide. We are dividing each one by 3, and in these boxes, we write the answers. 300 divide 3, 100, okay? Here it is. Then 60 divide 3, 20, here. And 9 divide 3 is 3, here it is, okay? So, at the end, we'll add these three quotients, 100 plus 20 plus 3, so 123. How to check our answer? Simply just multiply the quotient with the divisor. If you get the dividend, which we get it here, it means that your answer is correct. Next page. Okay, partial quotients now. Guys, uh, this division will confuse you, so write it again here. 738 uh, dividing by 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 7 minus 6, 1. Then you bring the 3 down and 2. Uh, 1 because it is at 100 place so 100 and then this is a tens place 2 tens means 20 and 3 at the ones place so at the end you will add the three quotients partial quotients or you can divide it directly here so uh, 7 minus 6 1 then you bring the 3 down 6 times 2 12 13 minus 12 1 bring the 8 down and 6 times 3 18 so you get the quotient directly or uh, 100 20 and 3 and then you add it 123 okay this is how they check their answers okay uh, draw a conclusion how would you use the distributive property to find 242 divided by 2 so we'll break 242 into parts 240 and 2 and then we'll divide each one with 2 so 200 divide 2 is 100, 40 divide 2, 20, and 2 divide 2, 1, and we'll add all of them. So 121. Next page, guys. Okay, here. Independent practice, just like uh, using the bar diagram, they said uh, use the distributive property to draw the bar diagram. So you will draw the bar diagrams. You can do it by yourself and then match your answers from this video. Okay, this one they're saying use the partial quotient, but uh, you can do it directly like this, okay? And then you can match your answers from this video. Let me show you the up one again. These four using distributive property and these three using partial quotients. Uh, next page now, guys. Okay. Joshua is saving his money to donate to his favorite charity. He has saved $432. If he has been saving for three years, how much did So 432 divide three, you can divide it here. Okay, and the answer is 144. Uh, Mr. Keaton planted 918 corn stalks. There are nine corn stalks in each row. So how many rows of corn did he plant? 918 divided by nine, 102 rows. Colton wants to buy a trampoline in two months. The trampoline costs $228. If he saves the same amount each month, so for two months, 228 divided by 2, 114. Okay, suppose you are finding 296 divided by 4, use partial quotients. 
is 50 or 70 a reason more reasonable partial quotient guys uh, for this question you have to divide this okay here normally using long division and then uh, we told you that the answer is closer to 70 70 is more reasonable because uh, 70 times 4 is 280 but it's not 296 it's close to 296 so you guys will tell me in the comment box what is the actual quotient when you divide 296 divided by 4 what is the actual quotient which is closer to 70 uh, the last question how can properties help me divide I can use the distributive property to divide each place value position by the divisor like here we did we break it into parts we break into parts 500 then 80 then 5 and divided by 5 i hope you understand the lesson guys and if you really understand don't forget to like this video and subscribe my channel learn math with mr saab thank you so much have a nice day